You could get a steroid injection for your shoulder, but it won't get you back to playing sports or whatever it is you love to do pain-free. To do that, you need to follow this approach. The real magic comes from strength training and from retraining the muscle systems because the truth is that when you have a traumatic shoulder injury, whatever happened to cause the injury, your body wasn't capable of handling. You weren't strong enough for it. Now, that could be very obvious if you took a hard hit on the field or if you were just lifting way too much weight. Eh, yeah, you weren't, you weren't strong enough for it. But whatever it was, you weren't strong enough for it. So you need to get stronger to be able to handle that. But what happens as a response to the injury, the body shuts down movement. It, it, the nervous system tightens up all these muscles. It creates inflammation. It restricts motion to prevent any further injury. And so what you experience from that is you have this injury and then when your body cools down, like for me, when I did the slap tear, it was my first slap tear. I was like, oh, that, that's sore, but I finished my workout and I could still move my arm. I could still do my workout. Five hours later that evening, I couldn't even move my arm past here without agonizing pain. Like, like to try to abduct, like to go from here to there, it was the sharpest shooting pain. And so your body just shuts down this movement. And then what happens is, every day that that movement is shut down, your scapula stabilizers and rotator cuff start to lose their function. In the words of my physical therapist friend, he just said the, the, the stabilization systems of your, of your shoulder basically forget how to do their job properly. And so then when you start trying to move again, when the inflammation's reduced and you can start to move your arm through a bit more of a range of motion and you wanna abduct your arm or you wanna flex your shoulder or you wanna externally rotate your shoulder in this abducted position, what happens is that the, the systems that are meant to hold the scapula in a certain place, that are meant to you know, create external rotation of the scapula and keep it depressed and all these things, they're not doing their job properly. And so while the good side is sitting here, the, the, the weak side is, is flailing out to the side and you know your humerus is sitting in a position that it's not meant to in the glenohumeral joint and the rotator cuff compounded with all this the rotator cuff isn't holding the head of the humerus in position properly and you start getting this joint glide and all these you know irregular movements and so nerves start getting compressed that shouldn't be getting compressed and you just feel this excruciating agonizing pain and you're just banging your head against the wall and there is no injection that you can get that is going to fix that. Like the injections may reduce inflammation, they, they may increase the strength of a tendon, but none of them are going to remind the shoulder stabilization system how to do their job properly. None of them are going to retrain the shoulder to do functional movement properly again. And that is absolutely critical to being able to get back to whatever it is that you want to do. And this is why like for general population people who don't give a shit about getting back to the sport that they, wanted, that they want to be able to do. All they want to be able to do is put their shirt on without being in pain. Because when you've got a frozen shoulder or a slap tear, like taking your shirt on and off is one of the most painful things that you'll ever go through. And for a lot of people, that's all they want. They just want to be able to put their shirts on and be able to reach you know, for the can of soup up here without being in pain. So an injection or surgery might be a viable option for those people because they don't have to do any work for it. They can just pay a little bit of money, go and see a doctor or a surgeon and, and you know, get back to where they want to be. But I don't think anybody watching this live stream and anybody that's subscribed to this channel, it fits that category. I think that you guys are like me and you really want to perform well at whatever your chosen sport is. And it could be yoga, it could be martial arts, it could be calisthenics, it could be weightlifting, it could be basketball, it could be rock climbing, whatever it is. You want to be able to continue to progress in your chosen field. And for those of you, it is vital that you work to regain that shoulder function. And that is a process. And if you want to learn that process, go and get the slap tear rehab blueprint. So you can go to unitygym.com forward slash slap tear blueprint.